Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of Motivation Mondays. And today we're gonna to be talking about something we've heard a lot from our members and from everyone else that we know at Waka. Um, we're gonna be talking about how you eat healthy when you're dining out. Um, so today we're at a buffet. Um, we're actually at Africa Bite, which is one of the most popular buffet places in, in Rwanda. And we're going to show you how you might build a plate that is has a correct nutritional component. So um, it's very important that you keep these kind of tips in mind, especially if you're trying to achieve your goals, so that you know that you don't have to restrict yourself to just eating at home. You can also eat out. Um, so hope you find this helpful and let's get started. Hi again. The, so now Dennis and I have been to the buffet and we have two different plates and one is a good plate and one is a bad plate. Um, I don't know if you can just get a shot of these just to see what they look like, but this is my plate. Dennis, do you want to show your plate? Yeah, and this is a plate that's very similar to what we talked about before. So it's a better proportion of the different food groups. Um, but I think we should start with yours because this is what I would most often see whenever I go to a buffet. So what did you put on your plate? So um, my plate, I made a plate like I often see in Rwanda, and <clears throat> it's definitely the bad plate. Um, there are a few reasons why there's some issues with this plate. The first thing is that you can see that it's a lot of food. Um, so one of the most important things you want to keep in mind when you're trying to lose weight is to have portion control. And a Juno you know, guideline is that you know you want everything to be about a serving size, which is about the palm size of your hand. Right now you can see I have about more than a palm size for all the food that's on my plate. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that I have several different forms of carbohydrates and starches on my plate um, and very little vegetables. And if you can remember from some of the earlier kind of um, Motivation Mondays that we did, is that we try to focus on making sure that your plate was at least half vegetables and then some percentage meat and a smaller percentage of carbs or starches. So you can see that most of my plate here with the potatoes, the chapati, the rice, and the ugali, and also the banana is carbohydrates and very, very limited amounts of protein and even smaller amounts of vegetables. Um, so this is definitely how you don't want to construct a plate when you're going to the buffet if you're looking to lose weight. So I'd like to show you the healthy option or the better way of, uh, of building your plate. So if you look here, and this is very similar to what we talked about before and what Janetta just mentioned, we have 50% vegetables. Half the plate is actually vegetables right now. You see we have some raw vegetables which is even better because you, it contains even more minerals and vitamins um, and more fibers that are still like going to help us when we di uh, digest things. We also have some boiled beans. This is good you cannot overeat. Um, then the protein about 35 percent. Again it's a number that we mentioned before. Uh, the protein we need to build you know our muscles to build our body in general. Uh, and again, it's quite lean. Don't be afraid of it. Like protein is good for us, and it will not make us gain weight. Lastly, you see here, small portion of carbohydrates. Almost a Janetta's plate that was full of carbohydrates. We have a small amount. We believe that it is important to get carbohydrates because it is energy. It is good energy for you, but it's about really being more in control of the amount. So the main difference between Janetta's plate and my plate is that we have more vegetable, even more protein, and very little carbohydrate. So everyone, I hope you've learned a lot today. Just keep these tips in mind. Portion control is the first one we talked about. Um, the second thing we talked about is making sure that you get a plate of at least 50% vegetables. So if you're going to the buffet, stay in those, that vegetable section. And the last thing we talked about was getting a good amount of protein, about 35%, and you know a small amount of carbs. So we hope this is helpful to you and bon appetit.